all right hey you guys welcome back to the channel uh so today we're gonna be talking about our trailer we got over here but for those of you who don't know we did break the rear end and becky however i think the rear end might actually be here tomorrow so we might have her back up sooner than we thought but for today's focus we're going to talk about this trailer right here um so as you can see it's wrapped we we don't own hall river flooring but the guy we bought it from does um so i had a couple questions why it's so low to the ground uh, most car trailers i think are usually pretty low to the ground anyways but this is a 2000 2000 pacer dragster package I mean, this guy raced dragsters which is the ones with the they're like a triangle shape skinny little front tires on them skinny front nose he would haul two of them in here um so he got it specially made for that dragster package it is a tow behind we weren't really looking for a tow behind we were trying to find a gooseneck or a fifth wheel but we came across this one for such a good price we could not pass it up uh we went and looked at it and then literally went and got it the next day it's got six brand new tires on it um it's got a power front lip that goes up and down And it does have a door on this side. I forgot the keys in the house, so I'm not going to worry about it. I am going to drop the big door because I think you guys would want to see that anyways. And it would give us the extra light. But you will see more of the trailer on here. I am going to pull the wrap off. It is just too cold to be doing that right now. So give me a second. Let me drop this big ass back, uh, back door. And I'll show you the inside. Alright you guys. So... This is it. It's a 32 foot and I think it's eight and a half wide or something like that. But so it has this special back door. It drops down and then it has another piece that folds out. Uh, this is for the dragsters are very low to the ground. So it helps with those. And then as you can tell, the floor gradually goes up as well for those dragsters. Um, there's a lift in here for the dragsters and what he would do was he would back one in uh there's a bar up there to put the front tires in and then he would pick it up and then drive the other one in here as you can see we have all our junk in here but it's got these nice little cabinets they lock in place you push them opens the doorknob and then to so they're not like open like this you push it locks it back in place but overall it's pretty good we did already get a new battery for it that's your generator box uh the platform for it the connector piece for to put the tires of the dragster in and then our camping chairs i need to get in here and clean up um but overall it's pretty good becky does fit right in between here we're probably going to take this rack off and move it uh, it's good for the cans but it's a pain when you're trying to get out of the driver's seat to have that there. Um, so yeah, we're going to take that out and we might be selling the dragster um, lift. Not sure yet. We'll find that out when it comes closer. Uh, he said, the guy said he had a buddy who was interested in possibly buying it. So we'll see. But it's all diamond plated, which is nice. That was the biggest thing to me that was like, okay. Yeah, so if something busts, we have a spill, we don't really have to worry about the wood flo floors rotting out. It's nice sheets of metal right here. Um, and overall, I mean, this is probably a ten dollars to $12,000 trailer um, used. I think he told me he paid close to eighteen dollars for it brand new. Um, back in 99 when he bought it. But I can't complain. It's got lights everywhere. It's got two lights on the outside. Um, it's got lights all in here. It did have a leak at some point in time. But everything's in really good shape for this trailer being 20 years old. I can't complain. Devin can't complain. And then we got it for a steal because that the wrap is on here he knows somebody's gonna have to either peel it off replace it i'm going to try to peel it off and we might replace it 
depending on what the shape is up under it but it's a little too cold right now I think it needs to be in the high 60s to 70s before we can really peel it off without ha having to use a heat gun on the whole thing because unfortunately we don't have anywhere to put a 32 foot enclosed trailer to warm it up it's got to stop that so <laughs> but yeah that's it for those of you who are wondering i'm gonna you're gonna see a little bit more of it i might do some videos with me pulling off the wrap so you can kind of see it as we see it um do some time lapses on that and i am gonna come in here and clean because it is dirty <laughs> but anyways if you have any questions about it please feel free to leave it in the comments and we'll answer what we can um yeah so anyways y'all have a good day don't forget to hustle harder and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already